Hello and welcome to Community Report. I'm Victoria Idowu. Many of us are familiar with the name Marami, a woman with a figure of high significance in the history of the Yoruba people. We focus on her importance and the impact she's made in the life of people in Ileife and the unveiling of Marami's Statue of Liberty, which is the tallest in Nigeria. Ofa, an ancient town and headquarters of Ofa local government area in Kwara State, north central Nigeria, is the second largest town in the state. Ofa was founded by Ola Lomi Olofa Gongo, a crown prince from Oyo and a direct descendant of King Oromio in Ileife around 1395. He was a renowned hunter, reputed for his dexterity as an archer. The praise name of Ofa is Ijakadi Lorofa, a Yoruba phrase meaning wrestling is our game. The city's mascot is a peacock bird, which is one of the most prominent exotic avian species in the region. The Olofa of Ofa, Oba Mufuta Ogbadamosi, tells us more. Normally our kings here were always very short. And you know that time there is no car. So when you see people calling us, they'll say, Yeru king olofa major. Yeru king means uh, the feather of peacock. You see, at that time, because there was no car, he would put the feather, you know, it's a beautiful, this thing, the feather of peacock. He would put it on top of his cap. So he will look different wherever he walks to. You can notice him with that tall feather, beautiful, anywhere you see. And uh, out of the whole king in the whole southwest, or uh, not here, we are the only one that bears that name, Yero Kyolo Famajo. That is, that's synonymous to that, uh, that feather. And if you look around my palace, you will see those peacock everywhere. That's where we got that name from. He is a hunter. He was the first person that bring that kind of a bird into the community. So, and he was using that feather because it has a very beautiful and very long feather. When he put it in his cap, he looked up. So anywhere you see him in the town, because they walked barefoot at that time, anywhere you see him, you can easily recognize him. That, ah, that is uh, Olofa, that is Olofa coming, that is Olofa coming with his tall, and he's the only one that uses it. Ofa is the traditional headquarters of Ibolo dialect of the Yoruba-speaking people of Kwara and Oshun states. It has five wards, namely Esa, Ojomu, Balogun, Shawo, and Igboido. One of the things people do not know about Ofa is uh, the way we carry ourselves together. You know, in Ofa here, uh, we don't solely depend on government. In everything we do here, if we have any problem, we first of all try to gather ourselves, see how we can help ourselves out before asking the government for any assistance. In anything we call ourselves, we, you know, like here we have the first uh, secondary school of a grammar school in the whole northern state. It's a community effort, not by the government. A lot of schools like that, a lot of things in the town we don't, uh, we, we will believe is uh, no matter how rich the government is, no matter how the government loves us, we need to stand up and help the government as well. We don't wait for the government. That is why you find out that apart from a learning, offer is the second largest city. It is not because the government only concentrates on offer, but because we stand up and the government help us as well.
We farm a lot, even though, you see, with the invent of uh, oil that everybody ran away from farm, if not all of us who go to the farm, sometimes when you come to a farm in the morning like this, you hardly see any man. Both the men and the women, everybody's in the farm farming. We farm for ourselves and uh, whatever we, we virtually produce all that we consume here. No, any house, everybody here, the lands, you know, from the time in Memoria, we've given land to different world, different family has their own land where they go to farm. So in the morning, everybody go and farm, mostly cassava, sweet potato, yam, maize, you know, the, all these things that we consume. We farm it here ourselves. Our people historically as very hard working. We are mostly farmers, right? And centrally we are supposed to be farmers. But there is one very, very, very unique thing about our farm, right? Education. We take education very, very seriously. Our forefathers happens to have the foresight of the importance of education, right? Hence, they thought it fit to set up community grammar school, which of course today happens to be arguably, I would say arguably, the oldest community school in the country. Of we have two major religions, that is uh, the Muslim and the Christian, and we live like brothers. Because um, in a compound, you find that the father is Muslim, the mother is Christian, and we live peacefully. We here, we don't uh, take religion, we don't allow religion to bring any, to divide us. The provincial figure for the population of Ofa local government area by the National Population Commission is 89,674, comprising 46,266 males and 43,428 females. Ofa is the home of the legendary Moremi, wife of King Oromio of Ilefe. She was believed to be responsible for the defeat of the Igbos who raided Ife an ancient town and cradle of the Yoruba race. However, the tribe in question is believed by scholars to have had no relation to the contemporary Igbos of modern Nigeria. <laughs> <laughs> 